Kitty Mew Mews forever. Hey, what's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freak and geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Generations War for Cybertron trilogy, Covert Agent Ravage. So here we are, and there they are. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. We got a nice little backdrop here. We'll take a look at that a little bit later. War for Cybertron Trilogy, Covert Agent Ravage, Decepticons Forever Ravage. On the side of the box, we have a nice piece of artwork there of Ravage, Predacon symbol. On this side, we actually have a little bio. If you, I just killed him. I killed him. It gives me more room. So we have a little bio here that you can read on your own time if you want to. There you go. Reading, 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 reading is fundamental. On the top of the box, War for Cybertron Trilogy. On the bottom of the box, yes, Transformers Authentic. On the back of the box, you have, again, a nice piece of artwork there of a Ravage. Includes two figures, four accessories, blah, 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 Beast Wars, and that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Ravage and Ravage to add to your Beast Wars lineup. And yes, in this package you get Beast Wars Ravage and you get a G1 Ravage because on the show, Ravage still transformed into his uh, cassette mode. So you get the best of both worlds. You get the Beast Wars Ravage and you get the Precious, because it's Precious! Precious! So you know what? First we'll take a look at the Precious. Why? Because it's Precious, that's why. But here is G1 Ravage in his cassette mode and again precious but you can see the uh cassette detailing there done via paint apps and just visible everything syndrome you can clearly see how the transformation works but hey it's g1 that's the way it works but again some more of that cassette detailing via paint apps little decepticon symbol right up there there's the top there's the bottom there's the sides he slides as cassettes should slide hooray for sliding cassettes and for comparison here he is with the uh, netflix ravage so you can see how that works out you can see the g1 is a bit larger than the current ravage and because i'm sure some people will ask does it fit in the netflix sound wave the answer is no no it doesn't because he too big he too big so there you have that but yeah, that is basically it for the uh, alt mode. I mean, what you see is exactly what you get. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? <laughs> it's okay. So it's G1 Ravage. We know how this works. Flip out the head, flip out the tail, bring down his legs, flip up his little paws, flip down the legs, flip up his little paws, and try your best to get Ravage standing, which was always a chore there we go there we no there we come on come on it's a balancing act there we nope still not there we, yay there we go now we have ravage in his beast mode and of course we have to complete him with the uh hip missiles here nice and chromy chromy as they should be they just plug in Right here on either sides. And there you go. There you got the full Ravage or Ravage if you want to be fancy about it. And he's just a little skinny, little precious, little precious Jaguar. <laughs> Again, we got the eye painted and everything we've already seen because nothing really much changes with the transformation. Except now you got the big hit missiles going on there. Now, articulation wise, head can move up and down, legs can move forward and back, and you have that joint there, paws can move, hind legs, you got the rotation, you got the knees, paws can move, tail can wag up and down, that's pretty much it. You know, it's G1, there's not too much here that moves, there's not really all that much to talk about except for how much it is a pain in the butt to get a G1 Ravage to stand. That's the real issue, that's the real thing. It's a balancing act. It's a balancing act. You balance. You balance. You balance! And for comparison, uh, here he is with the Netflix Ravage. Oh, that's pretty. Now that's precious. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. 
It's like a little baby. And there we have the two ravages together. He's like his own pet. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. But let's move this ravage out of the way so we can talk about this ravage. So yes, here we have Beast Wars ravage. And let's get in close here so we can take a look not at his massive pecs, but at that noggin. There's that noggin. Very nicely done head sculpt in my opinion. You can see there's kind of a, a furry texture going on there with the face. Nice beady red eyes. Silver on the chest there. Got a little bit of kind of a coppery bronze going on there as well. Predacon symbol tattoo there on the shoulder. Got some red. More of that coppery bronzy color on the thighs. Lower legs. We'll recognize from uh, Cheetor. We do share some parts with Cheetor. On the back, you can see, you got the legs hanging out. Oh no, not too shabby. Now articulation wise, uh, the head can rotate. The head is on a ball joint, but just due to the shape of everything, you don't, you don't really get any wiggly waggly. You get a little bit of up and down. You get a little bit of rotation. Not too much of the mouth can open. Um, the teeth are painted as well as the, uh, the tongue in there. Painted red. Actually, get some nice pan apps going on in there. Close your mouth. Close it. Close your mouth. I opened his mouth too wide. Close. Close. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, fine. Leave your mouth open. Find it. Ah, just stay like that then. Arms can rotate. They can do a full 360. Can move in and out a lot. You do get bicep rotation, which is quite snug on mine. Um, due to transformation, you do have this joint here that allows the uh, arm. To move in front of his chest if you needed to. As always, cat hair not included, even though it it, it should be, but it's not. It's really not. Um, <laughs> so you also get, uh, what was I talking about? The cat hair distracted me. Forward movement right there on the shoulder again. Um, bicep rotation, double jointed elbow. You got wrist rotation. You do have waist rotation. Legs can move forward that far, but only that far our you can pretty much do the full splits uh, you got rotation right above the knee you have under 90 degrees of bend at the knee and the feet they can move up they can move down and you have lots of ankle tiltage now as far as accessories go he includes his two blasters here done in black there's some gray for the barrels. And if you want to store them, there are slots there on the hips for these tabs. And you can just have them mounted on his hips. Like so. You can have that looking pretty cool like. But of course, you want the warrior wielding his weapons for the Decepticon cause. Or the Predacon cause. The Predacon Decepticon cause. Like that, so can pew pew bang bang, pew pew, bang bang, and all of that good stuff right there. And yes, these guns are bluish compatible. Yes, they are. They are bluish compatible. Uh, they are a bit snug. You have to kind of squeeze. Yeah, you got to squeeze them in there. And unfortunately, his elbow joints are not really strong enough to hold these up. It's more bluish than he can handle, but we can kind of, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta give him some support here so he can do a big old double ravaging. Bloosh! Meow, meow, okay. <laughs> a kitty mew mew bloosh, that's what that is. It's a kitty mew mew bloosh. There you go. So there you have that, and now for comparison, here he is with Cheetor, with Shadow Panther, with Tigatron, he's a little bit duller, with Papa Soundwave, and lastly, but not leastly, here he is with the Trans Art Ravage. So you can see how that works out. So, there you go. So that is basically it for his Robot Beastman mode. So let's get down to a transformation, shall we? Let's. So, to get him transformed up, what we are going to do is start with 
the arms here, you want to take the hand and rotate it. So it's palm up and then rotate at the bicep, rotate it out like so. And then you want to bring the arm up. You have a little tab there that will go into a slot in the side of his arm. So you just line that up and plug it in, plug it in. Second verse is like the first, rotate that out. Rotate the arm out and then just fold that up, tab it in and there you go. Next up, next, he will fall flat on his face. That's not a step in the transformation, though. I wouldn't advise that. Next, we're going to grab this whole chest section and arm section. Just pull that forward like that. You want to bring up the head, which will in turn bring up this panel right here. And you take the arms, and they will swing into the body. You just want to push them down. You'll feel some friction there as you do that. So bring that arm in, and then just push it down. Take the uh, Jaguar legs and swing them to the forefront here. And once you do that, you just collapse all this up. And this is a little clever bit of transformation here because you see you have these gaps back here. The backs of the forearms will now fill in the back of the Jaguar mode. So just give that a good push, and all of that will snap into place and that gets all filled in. That's very clever, I like that. I like that very much. Now you just take this neck piece here, push that down, they'll just kind of swoop into place. And you just bring these legs down, straighten out his paws, and there you have the front all done. And now we move on to the lower body, and this is pretty much transforming just like uh, the Cheetor mold does. Just bring up the foot, that will just go into the leg, bring that down. Then you just bend this down, bend this back, fix up the paw. There you go, second verse, just like the first. Bring that down, fold that in. Down, back, paw. Then just get those hips straightened out. Bring that tail down, make everything look a little bit sleeker. And there you go, there you have Ravage in his beast mode. I'm sorry, I meant to say in his beast mode. <laughs> At least he's staying up. I was expecting him to just be like, ah, you know, expecting that to happen, so you know. Worked out better than I thought. But yes, there he is in his beast mode. We go Jaguar. Now he's getting closer, yes, yeah, so we can take a look at the head sculpt we already saw, but hey. Bear's looking at it again because it's still a nice head sculpt. You can see, I mean, there's not too much different going on here. Of course, we have the nice muscular thin legs. They're thin yet muscular at the same time. Yeah, oh no. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Of course, you got, you know, stuff exposed, but hey, it is what it is. It's a beast for me. But articulation wise, again, you get a little bit more range of movement here. In that ball joint in beast mode, so you get some up, some down, you get a little bit more rotation side to side, you get a little bit of like a little bit of like head tilt going on there. Again, the mouth can open and close, so he can can do all kinds of that. Legs can rotate, can do a full 360, can move in and out. You have that joint right there. The paw is on a ball joint, so you have wiggly waggly up and down, rotation, tiltage, all that good stuff. The hind legs being the robot mode legs, you get pretty much the same amount of movements. Outwards, inwards, rotation, knees, things, stuff, paw, tail can move up and down. And all of that good stuff right there. And if you want to, you can store the weapons here on the beast mode. I mean, if you want, you can plug them facing forward like that. But that just, that just that, that's not good because he's just shooting his own legs. But hey, thing you can do if you want to do it, per the instructions, they want you to have them facing back like that. Hey, do it however you want. As always, it's your toy displayed however you wish. But there you have your weapon storage. And if you want, hey, you know, you could plug in, you, you could plug in, plug in the blushes like this. You could do this and have, you know, Rocket Jaguar, bloosh, you know, just, hey, things you can do. Things you can do if you want to do it. Just saying, I'm, I'm just saying. And now for comparison, here he is with Cheetor. With Shadow Panther with 
Megatron! Just because with the little Netflix Ravage. And here he is with the uh, Trans Art Ravage. His beast mode paws are in a drawer. I didn't feel like digging them out, but <laughs> you get the idea. And last but not least, here he is with G1 Ravage because he's precious. He can't stand. He can't stand, but he's... There we go. Balance! There he is! He's precious! Oh, so precious. And you know what they can both do? They can both slide! How's Jaguars? Slide! Hooray! Hooray for sliding Jaguars. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You can't stand. You did. There you go. Yay. So there you go! And one more thing to show off. Here is the uh, the inserts. Can be used as a uh, base of displayage. If you want to, not the most stable base of displays, but you can make it work and we can have Ravage standing there in the cockpit of his ship. We can have Ravage, G1 Ravage right there in that slot. So hey, things you can do if you want to do it. So there you go. So there you have Covert Agent Ravage. And yeah, it's a pretty cool figure. I dig it. The robot mode looks good. The beast mode looks good. Smooth transformation, and you get a G1 Ravage, which is a nice bonus as far as I'm concerned. You get the best of both worlds, so... All in all, I am pretty pleased with this set, so... There you go! Now you can pick this up from Hasbro Pulse. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below, so you can check that out. Of course, you can also get Transformers from BigBadToyStore.com, as always, linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out Endgames. Check out Love, Peace, Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Generations War for Cybertron Trilogy Covert Agent Ravage. And this is Emgo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Home in your face! Megatron, what we have here is a failure to communicate. Oh no, there's no failure at all. The only failure here is you. Because you used to live in another guy's chest and now that you're big and strong, you think you can overthrow me. Well, to that I say no. I will have you know that it was an honor to live in that bot's chest. You would consider yourself lucky to live in the chest of a bot as great as he was. And it was comfortable. Do you hear me? Comfortable. Yes, you keep telling yourself that.